my name is Patrick Jamison, and in this video, we're gonna install our assembled mainframe. We're gonna set our panels, set the screen, and add all handles. After dry fitting your frame, apply sealant around the perimeter of the inside of your opening. I've applied the sealant, now it's time to set the frame into the opening. You're gonna start by drilling the block through the pre-punched holes of the mainframe. Once the holes are drilled, use your masonry fasteners to secure the frame to the block. As you're securing the frame, ensure the frame stays true, square, level, and plumb. Use shims at every fastener location when needed to support the frame. All fasteners in the track must be drilled, must be cleaned, fill the hole with sealant, put your fastener through the tube of caulking, and run your fastener straight down. After inspection, cap off the head of your fasteners with additional sealant. Before installing your panels, you must snap down the sill screw cover. You might need a block and a mallet to fully snap the sill screw cover down. Now I'm gonna repeat the same process by snapping the sill screw cover down into this channel. Right after snapping down the sill screw cover, you must snap on the screw cover for the header. You might need to use a block and a rubber mallet to fully snap in the screw cover. Now follow the same process by snapping in the other screw cover. Now it's time to set our panels into the mainframe. From outside looking in, panel one will be on the left, panel two will be on the right. I'm gonna start by cutting the banding off panel one. To set the panel, you must insert the top of the panel into the header first and then swing the bottom onto the track. Once you set your panel onto the track, you need to raise your panel by adjusting the roller. First take the weight off the panel and using your screwdriver, lower the roller to raise the panel by turning it clockwise. Remember to adjust the other side of the panel using the same process. Now I'm gonna unpackage panel number two. We are gonna follow the same steps installing panel number two. Inserting the top of the panel first and swinging the bottom onto the track. You're gonna follow the same steps adjusting the panel like you did with panel one. Take the weight off the panel using your screwdriver, turn the screw clockwise, to lower the roller in order to raise the panel. I'm gonna follow the same steps, adjusting this side of the panel, taking the weight off the panel and turning the screw clockwise to raise the panel and lower the roller. Now it's time to install the handles onto the panels. We have our raised handles with our keepers inside each box. This box has a recessed handle so it does not interfere with the screen. Here's the handle set for panel number two. This is our exterior handle. On the interior, we have our latch with the raised handle. The first step is removing the two screws so you can fasten this side of the handle to the exterior side. When you remove the two screws from the raised handle, here's the component that you will fasten to the exterior handle. And then we will add the screws and the raised handle to the interior. I'm now gonna set the exterior and interior handles onto the panel with our latch. To check the function of the dual mortise lock, press in the anti-slam pin and flip your latch. We've now added the plates. Now it's time to add the handle 
and secure it with the two screws. I'm gonna follow the same steps on panel one as I did panel two. Only difference, I have a raised handle for the exterior. I've now secured the interior and exterior plates. I'm now going to add the latch and secure the handle on the inside using the two screws. Now it's time to install your keeper. First, insert one of the screws in the center of the keeper and latch it to your panel. You're gonna get a measurement from the bottom of the track to the bottom hole of the keeper and apply that same measurement in the jam. To adjust the keeper out, you might need two or three shims behind the keeper. When installing your keeper, only use the top and bottom hole for your screws. Check that the door locks in your keeper. Once adjusted correctly, tighten these screws up and then add your third set screw in. Now we're gonna follow the same steps installing the keeper for panel one. Now the panels are set, ensure you have a continuous bead of sealant around the perimeter of the frame to your block. Now it's time to unpackage the screen and set it into the track. Inside of this blue bag is your handle and screws for the screen. After unpackaging, I'm gonna remove the adhesive cork from the frame and trim the weather stripping. Here's the top of the screen. You can see the rollers have no adjustments. Here's the bottom of the screen where your rollers can be adjusted. Installing the screen is the same way with the glass panels. Insert the top of the screen first and then set the bottom of the screen onto the track. After setting the screen onto the track, you can now adjust the rollers. You want the screen to suspend between the header and the track evenly. So to recap, we have now installed our sliding glass door. We've added the panels, the screen, and all the handles. In the next video, we're gonna install our jam covers, the bumper, and make any necessary adjustments 